Ah, another morning here on Grigna Farm with your guy, Grigna. And also, I'm here too. Hello, how's it going? Yesterday, we had a very special... Ooh, feeling a little lucky today. We had a very special uh, fishing episode. Hey, kid. Oh, it's Pam. Hey, kid. Here's the recipe for a little treat my pappy used to make. Cook it slow. Cheese collie. Thank you, Pam. And we've also got a letter from uh, Jody. She needs a fresh cauliflower for a recipe she wants to make. Of course, Jody, I will bring you that. I think we have one uh, on the back burner, almost grown, or maybe it's already grown. Who knows? Anyway, uh, yesterday we had a very fun day of fishing. Only fishing, non-stop fishing. Uh, I'm, I'm a little tired today, so you gotta, you got to forgive me if I'm not entirely on the ball. Um, I spent four hours queuing up for the bank, so um, oh, it was three hours by the time that we actually got in. So uh, not, not a good time. Well, not a good time at all. It has to do with the whole house moving thing. It's very mentally, physically exhausting. Um, so we caught a load of fish and got a good amount of treasure. Not as much as I wanted because Elise was there and she's very distracted, very loud. Um, <laughs> but what we did get is a bunch of stuff for Gunther, um, which I want to donate at some point. We got like a diamond. But then all the excess, when summer rolls around or just before summer happens... All the excess gems, like the 16 rubies that will sell for 3750 by the time we get around to it, we'll take all the extra stuff, we'll sell it the day before summer, and we'll cash out. We'll go big on the summer crop, because I know a lot of people are sad about the state of the farm right now, okay? It's a rustic farm. I mean, all farms are pretty rustic by definition, but this one is very much uh, a rustic farm. At some point, I promise we'll have an episode in the future, um, you know, in the kind of run-up to summer, clearing all the pathways, because I know a lot of people are very upset about the fact that the paths are, you know, still covered in a load of stuff, and it makes it very inconvenient to go everywhere. So we'll sort that out. I'll put little borders around it. Don't worry. You need to have more faith in me. I built Jewelry Egypt, and I can sure as hell build... A random pixel art town. Okay, it's gonna be fantastic. You just gotta you just gotta believe. Believe in Grigna. So today, uh I, I've been saying this for episodes now and we still haven't done it. I really wanna get some better tools for Grigna, because it's a sad state. We can also craft some new stuff. Um we can craft a recycling machine, right? Yeah, there it is. 25 wood, 25 stone, one iron bar, which is very convenient because we only have one right now. Um wood stone. Well, I mean, wood is organic, so it's in the wood chest, obviously. Stone is uh, mineral, so it's got to be in the uh, the mineral chest. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not. Let's throw down a recycling machine, and then all the junk that we get, um, we'll just... Oh, we, we could put that attached to a chest, right? In fact, we already have it in a chest, don't we? Can I just do that? Hey! It's going to make us some refine... No, it's going to refine the quartz. Shit. Um, I forgot I did that. I tell you, made batteries, right? Um, we're gonna need a separate junk chest in that case. So hang on, let's um, let's be a bit more careful, not so gung ho. Uh, give me a couple of chests because I need those anyway. Let's throw um, one of these fellas down. Like um, well, let's just if if I pick that up now, shit, we can't move it. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, hang on, we have to work a bit ass backwards here, unfortunately. So let's put down a new mineral chest here. Uh, mineral. We'll do grey, because people were very upset about me not having a grey mineral chest for whatever reason. Uh, we'll start separating things out a little bit. There you go. So those are indisputably minerals, okay? You can't you can't argue with me there. And then this... Oh, excuse me. Let's pick you up. Why can I not pick that up? Oh, there you go. Uh, let's pick that up. Let's put that there. And this will be the junk chest, where we put all the junk. Why can't we, like, write a, a name for these chests? That would be so much better. Then I wouldn't have to think so hard. Georgia Cola, given that it says trash, can we recycle that? Maybe we should try it. Um, that way we're not going to turn all our quartz into, you know, like other stuff. There you go. Hopefully, people were very upset. That was like the biggest takeaway I got from last episode. People were very upset about the uh, organization skills that we have on display here. Um, leather boots? I mean, I want to sell them. Oh, people said to the Adventurers Guild. Um, we're going to put that in the... In there? That doesn't seem legal. Uh, this seems good, because that's where we've put, like, a lot of the other stuff that we found in the mine, right? So that seems fine. Um, basic retaining soil. Oh, shit, I don't know where to put half this stuff. What we need is, like, crops that are grown, and then, like, seeds, and then, like, random stuff, like, foraging. A chest for foraging would be a good idea. Quartz is a mineral. You can't argue with that one. That's just science. I think we'll go back to the mine today. First thing I want to do, though, is, uh, yeah, so that we can upgrade the tools, like I said. Um, let's keep the uh, pickaxe. Let's put the axe in here, and let's go to the uh, the rare seed lady first. Jody wants cauliflower. Jody can wait till tomorrow, because we're basically almost done with that. Um, what did you just refine, then? Oh, you, you put it back in the chest you get it from? Wait, what the fuck? Where did it put that? 
<laughs> Where did you... Bruh. <laughs> what happened to my refined quartz? It's in God's hands now. Well, you know, let's not worry about it. Uh, let's move on with our life. I want to go and see the, the caravan first, because we've bought, we've bought a good amount of rare seeds. We might as well see what else they've got, right? Then we're going to head into the mine. I'm going to go to the mine. I've cleared this path. You see, this is so much more convenient, weirdly, when you can walk around the farm. It's actually crazy. Wow, we can make it a record time to Marnie's now, huh? This is great. I mean, i got to clear a little bit more out, I will admit. Like I said, we'll dedicate a whole episode to that in the future. Oh, we made good friends with Pam yesterday, too. Other than the fishing, we made good friends with Pam. Um, where? Oh, there you are. But I don't know why I thought you parked in front of the pink tree. Hello, it's Grigna. Uh, bruschetta. Mmm, I like bruschetta. Um, amaranth seeds, cherry bomb, speed grow, uh, rare seed, and a coffee bean. Now, hang on. Coffee beans, you can just, like... Oh, well, we won't buy it, because I'm pretty sure you can buy it cheaper from Pierre or whatever, or Gus sells some, I think. Um... Are those we could throw in a greenhouse. People were saying like one of the one of the things we could throw in a greenhouse, uh, and then it would just keep growing forever. Obviously, that's a bit far away, given that you know the farm looks the way it does. That's like very much future proofing. <laughs> very, very much future proofing. Poor Grigner. This place is a dump. We're gonna get foreclosed on very soon. The bank is gonna come and take our kneecaps, but we tried. We gave it. We gave it a little. We cleared out the mines. What more could they ask for? I wish I knew where it's throwing all the stuff that it recycled. Apparently it's making us an iron ore, so I guess we'll find out. I thought it would take it from this chest, dump it in this chest, but maybe not. I guess it takes it out and puts it in the same chest in that case. Hang on, hear me out here. Give me this. Where did you put that? That was iron ore. Where did you put that, though? You sit there. Bruh. What, what, what's happening? All these chests are connected. Refined quartz. Ah! So, hang on, chests connect up. Oh, shit. Right, 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 So that iron bar could have gone to any of these chests because that was connected to there. It could have filtered across. Right. This was a dangerous play, Cotton. But I think I'm understanding. So if we do that, they're not connected to anything else, right? So where the hell did that iron bar go? There it is. That's a refined quartz anyway. Um, the refi the, the, so the iron bar would have gone somewhere in one of these other chests. Gotcha. That's okay. I'm, I'm understanding this. So the chest we can stack up because that way if you fill a chest with goods, it will just move on to the next chest. Makes sense. If you uh, you know, have a brain. Right, we've got four rare seeds. We're, we're good. Right, so we need the club, and let's get to work. Um, <laughs> if only I could remember my color coding system. <laughs> there we are. Right. To battle, Grigna. Now, I think what I said is let's go before the icy floors so that we can get, uh, like, lots of copper. Like, just before the icy floors. Maybe do, like, uh, floor 30 or something like that. Because Clint needs a load of copper, and that's the one thing we haven't got right now. I should probably just run through town, see if there is anybody. Hello, Haley. Haley is ignoring you. What the fuck? Well, I didn't mean to smash her over the head with a club. The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest in my family, but at such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. Somebody sponsored. Bought to you by... NordVPN. I don't know who YouTube is sponsored by anymore. What's up, my farmer guy? <laughs> How are horribly rude. It's got a name. Ah, what a day. What a great, what a nice day here in Pelican Town, huh? The birds are out. I keep forgetting to bring my hoe so that we can hoe some worms. I should probably really work on that, that community bundle at some point as well. If, if we get into the stage, like, let's say, like, uh, I don't know, the 20th of, of, of uh, spring, and we need something for the spring bundle that's going to take, like, five days to grow, f please scream at me in the comments if you are aware of that. Please don't destroy my tent. Ah, oh, it's happened before. I bet it was Shane. I bet it was Shane. The man is nothing but trouble. Right, let's go down into the mines. So let's go like our uh, floor thirty. I think it's probably a sensible one. Anywhere to get a little copper. Yeah, this seems good. Oh yeah, no. They oh, this is fantastic. What a big brain play from Grigner. What a guy. Hand it over. Where's that bat? That wouldn't have killed it, right? I might have. Incredible. All in a day's work. Oh, there it is. Nice. Just a little more copper. Oh, the zombies. Man, I should have looked up how to use this club more effectively. That seems like it would have been really useful to know before we came down here again. Never mind. Um, hello. It's a golden axe, isn't it? What a great game. 
I think I've done a playthrough of Gold Max on this channel. I think it was very dry, though. It was a very dry video. I wouldn't watch that in a hurry. Not if you're here for, you know, humor and jokes. At which point you're on definitely in the wrong channel. Right, well, now we're stuck. That's it. We're out of copper. Come on. Is there a better way to do this? People are saying the recycle will help you get copper or iron or whatever it is we need. My god, it's like there's a drought. I think we're being stalked by a spooky bat. Oh! Maybe, maybe, maybe going deeper there is just more copper. Oh, maybe. Because there's like actually fuck all on this floor too. Wow, what a great day. <laughs> I won't give up in the mines. <laughs> this happens every damn time. And then by the time we actually get out of here with enough copper, Clint's going to have shut up shop again. Lazy piece of shit. Oh, amethyst. Hey, that's pretty good. Copper, that'll do. Thank you. Watch out for the bat. We never get any other cool floors. Like, I remember there used to be so many, uh, maybe it was a mod that I was playing with the last time I played this. Floors where you get, like, loads of boxes and monsters and crazy stuff like that. I feel like the mines we've had have been really boring. I presume, uh, as well, if you go to, like, floor... If we go to, like, floor 40, as we have, and then we come back and go back down again, those floors will be randomized again, right? How did you hit Grignut? That's bullshit. I did not. Please. Ugh. Just, just, just go. Just escape. Just escape. Find your freedom, Grigna. Bats are timid. Ah! Good damn Morbius. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Another wasted day. Like, this one's kind of a cool floor. This one's a little better. Ooh! That was something. Did you see that? That was big damage. I don't know how I did that. Never going to repeat that in 100 years. Boom. Two whole copper. And a tasty mushroom. What are you? Red mushroom. Thank you. Is it tasty or will that kill us dead? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, that'll kill us dead. Don't do that. Oh, no, this is the type of floor I was talking about. Look at all this stuff. Loads of items of interest. Oh, boom. And the ladder. Well, hang on. Let's keep going. This seems like an interesting one. A little copper. I think because I blew through so many of those older floors, I'm really paying for the price now. Paying for the price. I'm really paying the price now. Grigna faces his problems head on. When he really shouldn't. Oh, 6 p.m. How much did we get? Oh, 17. Yeah, no, 17's pretty good. I'm alright with that. I think you need the equivalent amount of coal to smelt it, so maybe it's not <laughs> maybe it's not that good, but. Never mind. It's just a dump. Actual dump. I think we're going to leave. Maybe it might be better just to keep fishing and to buy it directly from Clint. It's not a bad idea. I mean, given that we've got seven fishery, the chances of getting treasure now seems like, like it would be pretty good. Hang on, Friday night saloon. Oh, yeah, speak to everybody, get big, big relationships. Okay, let's do it. I've got to remember to return Robin's axe at some point. This, this was a warm-up. Today was just like a warm-up day. Don't worry about it. What do you mean it's not a, a horribly inefficient use of Grigna's time? I don't know what you're talking about. Do a little foraging while we're on the way over to see what we can find. Before next season, we need to make sure we put uh, chests on every single one of these salmonberry trees. Because apparently it just dumps it automatically in the chest. And then when it's over, we can just run around and pick it all up. People are saying, though, that if you do that and you block an NPC's pass, they'll just bulldoze their way through it. Oh, I mean, to be fair, Pam will bulldoze their way through anything. Chests, walls, men, women. Oh, look at this. Pierre, I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation. Yes, you do. Hello, Robin is busy. Hello, Demetrius. Demetrius is busy. Why are they both busy at the same time? That's crazy. Uh, wait, was that Pierre or was that... Oh, I, thought, I couldn't tell if it was him or the doctor. Lewis, knocking back his eighth. Good evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see the latest news is. Gus, big man Gus, it's been really good tonight. I'm pleased, it's Friday, it always happens. Spring, the season of pastels. I prefer jewel tones myself. 
Oh, excuse me, I was mumbling against fashion again, wasn't it? You're so boring. Pam. Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. God, she's just irresistible. Ah, oh, speaking of irresistible, Clint. Well, that doesn't matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. You're a boring piece of shit. Depressing, oh, yep. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Here we are. Hello. If I give the cue ball a bit of a topspin, maybe I could do something. Should I let Sam win for once? Well, uh, you're breaking the rules by leaving your cue on the table. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. <laughs> If you're wondering, if you're, like, particularly socially incompetent, yeah, this is actually what real people... Uh, this is how real people talk. It really is. They all talk like they're getting lunch in an office and they're all kind of mutually acquainted but don't really know one another and don't really want to know one another. It's like kind of that forced socialization thing. Except the best part is they all chose to be there. Except for Elliot. He's not invited. Actually, why is it only Elliot that has the broken pathfinding still? Well, Marnie and Jazz and Shane and Leah also seem like a bit weird, too. The fuck's going on with that? It's like some of our people are... I mean, Elliot puts on his... I uh, dons his sandals and marches off into the ocean like Jesus H. Christ himself. So I don't quite understand that one. Let's go have a chat with this squad, then, seeing as they're all bunched up. Four for the price of one. It's your guy, Grigner, here to have a chat. They're just having a picnic on the pier. It's perfectly normal. They're all just inside one another. A perfectly normal occasion. Don't you have work to do? It's rich coming from you. I don't know you. No, you don't. Similar to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Catch me at the saloon most nights. Except for now, when you're merged into a single eldritch consciousness for Yoba. Feast on our knowledge, Yoba. God of the stars. The great dreamer who sleeps beneath Stardew Valley. That'd be crazy. Well, that was a good day. Very productive. We got uh, some copper that we can't even smelt. So that was um, well handled. I think we can all agree. <laughs> On the plus side, our stuff should have recycled, right? Torch. That's good. What have we got? What's it? Where? where where's it going, though? I don't understand. 21 torches. It's still going over there. Is it because these are connected? Oh, I wonder if it is. Give me that. This is for Grigna now. You've been banished from this realm. So they can connect on the diagonal. That's really good to know. It's a shame I didn't know that earlier. Never mind. Um, let's put all the fishing rods in there. There you go. Any other fishing related stuff? Nope. Uh, give me that. That's very bizarre. That that would happen. That's all right. Um, this is all for all our dungeon crawling stuff. I go back to being red. Red for the color of violence. Take this sword. Take this sword. Um, I mean, those... I should build a Gunther chest. We don't have enough wood for any of this, so I don't know why I'm talking about it. Oh, here, you can have those. Um, slingshot, never going to use that, I'll be honest with you. Minerals. Well, we actually got quite good stuff today. Um, we have a lot of iron, too, that I could smelt down. But I want to focus on the copper for the time being, so let's not dump that in here. Or is it five of each for a bar? I have no idea. It turns out we already had an abundance of uh, copper, so that works out quite well. There you go. You can have these monster hunting chests, like monster drops I've put in here, or something like that, I'm sure. A little bit of slime. Great day. Another great day on the farm. Let's actually try and do something productive <laughs> tomorrow, because this was terrible. Uh, you can hold those, I suppose. Oh, I should go see. So we're going to go see Clint tomorrow, right? So let's take this. Let's take this. Anything that we can give to Gunther. Uh, geodes we should crack. Probably cost us a little bit, but, you know, if we're going to see Gunther, we might actually get something for the museum, so it's probably worth it. Uh, give me a jade. Uh, give me a ruby. God, we are going to make actual bank. And I know we can, we can obviously, like, gift a lot of this stuff, like Abigail likes Amethyst or whatever. Um, go in there, that's fine. I don't think we're ever going to use torches, to be honest. Uh, that. We also want the copper bars. We need, like, five copper bars, right, for Clint. Maybe we can get him to upgrade a couple of tools at once, or is that too much for the man? Well, he's going to overload his little tiny pea brain. Whatever. I want to upgrade the pickaxe. Do I want to upgrade the pickaxe? Yeah, I think I probably do. I think I probably do. It's probably the least useful of things to upgrade, but we do need it to clear the farm eventually, right? Sorry, hang on. Let's do, uh, let's do one of uh, those. Much better. Okay. We're going to get big luck. 
get the pickaxe sorted, visit Gunther, fill up the museum massively. And um, when summer rolls in, I'm telling you, when summer rolls in, it's all going to change for Gregna. It is absolutely all going to change. <laughs> but assuming anything rolls in for Gregna, there we are. It's woken back up. Ah, oh, the day is in your hands. It's Shane's birthday. What the hell does Shane like for his birthday? I'll give him a gem. Who wouldn't like jewels? Who wouldn't be happy to receive a handful of jewels? Right. Uh, let's take this. A refined quartz. What do you use that? You make it make like batteries, right? Or some shit. I don't know. Right. Big man Clint. This is for you, my friend. I need to water the plants, but we'll do that when we get back. You always get home a little early. Dandelions? Nothing. Just the sexy, sexy pan bus. <laughs> some of the some of the mods for this is I need to look into how you I, I, I presume the modding is fairly simple, right? God, I could do so much. I could do so much with this. I should just start adding things. Like this, that I could have knocked this up in no time. I well, well, by that, I, okay. I don't mean like the slang, as in like to get someone pregnant, unless you know. I mean, it is Pam. But what I'm saying is like like that. Gra put, put that together in no time. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, broken glasses. When is it open? 8 a.m. Okay, well, let's kill a lot of time. Let's go look around for some for some forage. Can we even find forage out here in the town proper? You know, I'm not sure you can, huh? Well, let's go to the fancy beach. Might as well go grab that. I haven't been there for a few days. Might have built up a little bit. I mean, catch Elliot, by which I mean push him in the ocean where he belongs. Oh, I keep forgetting to bring the hoe, damn it. All right, here we go. Get ready. Big treasure time. A single urchin that we're going to pick up barehanded. <laughs> Nothing. Well, that was a complete waste. This bridge is never going to pay for itself. Never going to pay for itself. What a waste of time. And we're about to go into debt to open all these damn geodes. Oh, was there ice? I'm pretty sure we had some ice geodes. Maybe I'm wrong. How did we even get the magma geode? Because you get that from, like, Volcano Island or whatever, right? Or maybe the lower floors of mine, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. But it's probably fishing. Just like everything in this game. Right, let's go see Big Man Clint first. It doesn't open until 9. Oh, he's so lazy. He's so lazy. Right, Gunther. Time is of the essence here. Take this. Donate to the museum. Right, let's get to work. Uh, we got a little diamond. A little diamond for you there, fella. A little jade. Got a little ruby. Got a little chicken. And whatever the hell this is. And one of those. A dwarf helmet. Did I already donate that? Oh, it's there. Yeah, got it. Got it, got it, got it. There you go, Gunther. Give me my rewards. Uh, a knight on Echo Hill. Oh, that's lovely. And a chicken statue. We'll be back with more as soon as Clint wakes up. We need to have an intervention for this man. I feel like he's not doing well. Hello. Uh, I'd like you to patch my pickaxe. I mean, I would. I, I think that could be useful eventually when we're in, like, skull mine and we're really loaded up with stuff. I suppose it's more useful the smaller your backpack is, so the sooner we get it, the better. Let's process some geodes. I did download an animation mod to make this quicker, because, Jesus Christ, this is painful. This is real painful. Ooh, that looks good. Wait, that chicken changed color? Ooh. Why is it a blue chicken now? Ooh, now it's a... Oh, it's evil chicken! Bruh, as we process geodes, it's changing color. Oh, I want the blue chicken back. Blue chick Maybe it just cycles through. And because we've got the animated inventory mod, maybe that's what's happening. There you go. Five stone. Oh, that was a good one. Right, does Gunther want any of these? I don't recognize some of them. Right, uh, patch this for me. Thanks, I'll get started on it as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. Can you also... He's so... Unbearably late. Like, the, ma the man just cannot multitask. Right, uh, some of these are good, right? This we've not given. Yeah, there you go. So we've got, uh, Orpament. I don't even know what that is. Um, Slate he doesn't want. Jamborite he does want. The rest of this is going right in the cell box. Here you go, fella. Some more stuff for you. Ooh. And also whatever the hell this is. Whoa, come back, come back down. There you go. Boom and boom and boom. Look at that. Man, we're filling up this museum like crazy. Give me my reward. Jade Hills. Like Sonic. That's Emerald Hills. 
Well, we can't go mining anymore, so that's kibosh that. Really does narrow down the things that we can do. So we can't really do combat if we can't do mining. Um, we could dedicate today. Dare I say it. I can feel the vomit brewing in my little tum-tum already. We could use today to clear up the farm a little bit. How about that? As my gift to you, because everybody keeps crying and screaming at me. Alex, let me guess. You're going to say something about football or exercise? <sighs> God damn. When did they all do yoga? Because that would be a fantastic time to intercept them, wouldn't it? Pierre, my guy. If you have any wild products, I'll take it off your hands. No, you will not. What have you got for sale? Um, not really much point looking at this point. But I wanted to get I wanted to get a feel for like his uh, fertilizer and whatever else. Because that way we could double down. We could buy like crazy good fertilizer. I don't know if there's one that gives like a higher yield or something like that. What's the quest? Uh, a sunfish. Oh, I need a sunfish if it's not too convenient. I uh, just... You can just hear it. Lashings of sarcasm. And... Oh, just really, just gets on my nerves. He hasn't done anything wrong. He fundamentally has done nothing wrong. So I'm, I have a massive hang-up about him. I'm sorry. I just wish I, I wish I, I wish I was him there. there. I've admitted it. I wish I was Elliot. Beachfront property. Doing something you're passionate about. Not caring about the judgment of others. Wow, it's just... That's the fucking dream. And I hate him for it. I hate him for it. Take these glasses. Great. Coal, wood, torch. Good. <laughs> right, let's get to watering the plants before I forget. Because that will be a uh, bad time. Oh, Jody, we've got your cauliflower, fella. There you go. Wow, hey, that's great. Oh, the strawberries are almost ready. That's good. We might get a strawberry. Probably won't pay for the seeds, but never mind. Six days on the cauliflower. They will just grow then. That's good. Unless I forget to water them, I suppose. Here, take this. What happens if you forget to water them? They just not grow for that day. Let's see that being, being what happens. Right, let's take the scythe. Let's take the axe. Uh, and let's get to work. Where's my oak chair gone? Oh, we need that for Jody. Whatever. She can fuck off. Yeah, I don't know where my oak chair went. All right. Chicken statue. I'm going to put you right here, fella. As a reminder of what we're here to do. Oh, it does change. Right, gotcha. Um, <laughs> I wanted to see if you could hang it in front of the window. That would be real psychopath energy. Uh, you can go above Kanye. And then let's... Uh, oh, that's gigantic. Wow, we... Um, well, let's throw you there. Uh, that's just horrific. Everything about this decoration style is horrendous. It's really, it's really bad. It's kind of horrible to look at. Right, okay. So let's go axe. Let's go scythe. Let's clear the paths. Because that's what everybody was really angry about. The scythe you can use without using energy, right? Yeah, gotcha. Let's get all these paths tidied up. That'd be quite nice. Let's do as much as we can just on the paths specifically. Go try and try and navigate the farm a little nicer. Obviously, we can't do anything with the pickaxe because Clint is our lazy piece of shit. Takes him two days just to upgrade a pickaxe. During which point, apparently, he can't even talk to you. The man refuses to hold a conversation. One track mind. So we're clear in this direction. But this is so much nicer already. Wow. We haven't even been over to a lot of these areas of the farm because, like, oh, there's a little building over there. Because, oh, quite simply, we're never going to be able to get over to them. And I better not see any more complaining ever again. In fact, if we could try and... You know what? I might focus on that. Let's see if we can get up to level 3 wood choppery. And in fact, yeah. If we are uh, choppery enough wood, we can build a bunch of chests and we can make the storage system better. That way, we're doing a, uh, a double hit on the things that make people sad. The storage system is going to be so much better. The farm's going to be tidy. It's going to be win, win, win. We'll get this out of the way. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, is this meant to be like a, another path too? Uh, oh, it actually is. Crazy. There you go. Man, this scythe has got some bloody range to it, huh? I mean, I understand it's a scythe. I've used a scythe in real life. I am from country town. There you go. Oh, so this is just a quicker fishing spot, but you need the better axe to crack the hardwood. Gotcha. I mean, that's super convenient if we could open that up at some point. 
We're just going to follow these paths, see where they end up. Obviously, this one hits a dead end, but I'm going to do it anyway. For posterity's sake. If the job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. That doesn't apply to the main channel. Don't tell him I said that. All right, that's about as far as we can go here. Okay, bizarre path, but that's okay. We'll just follow these around. Just give it a nice, nice big clearance. Oh, this is so much better already. So much better than trying to dodge any plant where we want to go in any direction. You can go. Now, I want to be able to see the paths too. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll fell this tree. And then we'll kill those other two. Northwest. Well, it's going to be amazing. What do you build there? Is that like a specific building spot, I wonder? I don't remember. I really don't remember. I've definitely played it to the point where you get, like, gr grandpa's, uh... Uh, where you get that fancy statue, like the, the perfect statue or whatever that spits out Iridium bars, I think it is. I've definitely played like a lot of this game before. I've like, I mean, not a lot by people who are obsessed with Stardew Valley standards. I think I've got like a hundred hours in it. No, I got a lease yesterday. I was like, oh, I've played this game for a thousand hours. Oh, you're playing it wrong. Oh, you wait. Oh, you wait. You are done for when we play RimWorld. You're starting to feel exhausted. Yep. That's called uh, being above the age of uh, 25. <laughs> no, I, I, look, I think it's the YouTube thing, to be honest with you. It's mentally exhausting. Very mental. Oh, staggeringly mentally exhausting. It's just a non-stop barrage of information. On, stop, on top of the non-stop barrage of information we have in society anyway. There's a lot. There's a lot going on at once. At least I'm going to manage it all for me. But I will never do that because I'm far too stubborn. What's this supposed to be up here? Like a little, like a clearing for some reason. Weird. What, what for? Yeah, because it's like, I wonder if it's supposed to be like a, like a livestock area or, oh, I have no idea. But it's probably just decoration, let's be honest. Well, there you go. This is so much better. Right, we need to make, uh, let's make a chair. Can I make a chair? Can I make a chair? Make a chair, though? I want to make an oak chair. What did I do with my oak chair? Have I lost it? Oh, God, I can't make another one of those. How do, how do I get another chair? I thought, we can sit down and rest in that, and it will give us our energy back, and I fucking lost the damn thing. We put it at, uh, Marnie's Pond, I remember, for when we were doing the fishing. I'll go back and get it at some point. For now, though, I'm pretty sure we can just lie in bed. Uh, yeah, I'm well aware. And that'll give our energy back? No! Ah! We have a hot spring. We have a hot spring. We have a hot spring. Um, okay, you have plants and need watering. Let's get that out of the way. What have I missed? Ah, oh, right. I always miss that one down there. If I swing this, will it kill my crops? No. Good. <laughs> That'd be some real bullshit, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Now, we, if we can get down to the kind of hot spring area... We'll cut a path down there. In fact, we could just cut a path now. Bazinga. Look at this. Look at this, huh? Oh, wowee. Uh, is this the hot spring? I don't think this counts, right? Oh, this, this is it. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. We just sit and we meditate. And I have a drink of delicious, refreshing H2O in real life. I wouldn't drink this water, Gregner. It's full of fishes. That would be dinner and a drink. Okay, well, there's no, probably no point getting back to full energy, I will admit, because uh, it was 8 p.m. This has been, honestly, this has been the most productive thing we've done in this game ever. <laughs> like ever. <laughs> Can't argue with that one. Really has just, like, changed the landscape. Pun very much intended. Ooh, a maple seed. Does that mean you could tap this for maple syrup? I would presume so. That would make a lot of sense. That what farmer do. If we could get up to our level 4 wood chopper, though, that'd be pretty fantastic, huh? So let's clear this and make this a bit more easier to access, given that I've lost the chair. Well, I haven't lost the chair. It's just in a farming-optimized area. I'll do a little clearing. You have to specifically chop down trees to get the, the wood choppery level. I mean, that makes sense. So, right, at level five, we'll be able to chop down our oak trees. 
And then you do uh, you do Willows in Draenor. Until you hit, like, what? Like, 66? And then you do Use in, like, uh, Varrock Castle Courtyard. By the G. Uh, then you set. And then you just do that forever. Unless you'll remember at which point you're a fucking weirdo. Maples and Camelot. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I've lost my mind. Who put all these holes in the ground? Was that me? It's like a crop field to my sanity. Like a crop circle to my sanity. There you go. I just thought I'd do a little little extra tidying there for, for your benefit. Boom. Right, what have we got in here then? Uh, love to refine quartz. Broken glasses become refined quartz. I think I remember that. Yeah. I think I do. Oh, you can piss off. No more trees in the... Did that give us experience? Well, I don't think it did. Well, let's try and get to uh, that next wood choppery level. Why not? We're pretty much there. Clear the paths a little bit. It's a little dark. It's okay. There's not as monsters on the farm. There could be. There could be. Grandpa had some dark secrets. Necromancy. This whole farm was to fund the resurrection of Grigna's grandmother. Grignarina. She was the one who originally tried to fight the cult of Yoba. And what did they do? They murdered her. Grandpa was never on board with the cult. That's why he lived outside the town. He was cordial with them. Deceptively, so that he could keep an eye on them. He was the good guy. And now that task has fallen to us, to overthrow the cult of Yoba. His descendant, we must finish the work that he started. We'll do it for you, Gramps. We'll do it for you. Alright. Almost done. Not overthrowing the cult. I mean, like, getting that level. Uh, can we get this one? Ah, oh, it's in a bit of a weird place. That's annoying. Oh, this is so much easier to <laughs> navigate around. Who could have predicted that? That's really crazy. Right, here we go. It's getting late. I'm well aware. Midnight is not late. The amount of RimWorld videos that have been recorded. Oh, there you go. Post 4 a.m. is uh, staggering. Staggering indictment. Boom. What a lovely farm. Now they're not going to kick us. They're not going to evict us. He said he was going to take over and look after the farm. He the damn thing. Mayor Lewis was preparing the papers. He was going to get us deported. Ah. Holmes, well, let's sort the chests out first. Hold on. Hold on. We, it's only an hour. Okay, it's not a big deal. Not going to take that long just to do a little bit of something like that. Mix seeds will plant. Again, I'll save those for summer. And then we will go absolutely butt wild. It's going to be Grigna Summer. It's going to be absolutely Grigna Summer. Trust me. Uh, spring Foraging Bundle could take any daffodil. I'm going to sell the shitty ones. No, that doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> spring Foraging Bundle could take any let's sell the shit ones and keep the good ones to not turn any profit on. You're a strange, you're a strange band, Grigna Grignison. Right, there you go. Perfect. Let's give these to the man who lives in our bin. Hello, chicken. Right. Bazinga. There you go. Okay. A little bit of profit too. Huh? Look at that. Let's have a little nap. And I think that will do for our adventures today. That was great. That was good. We got a light, nice mix bag done there. We can now make a charcoal kiln. Oh. Plus one axe proficiency and plus one wild berry harvesting. That's fantastic news. And look at that. Bunch of foraging. A little bit, little bit of money on the side. And now we are up to day 20. Day 21. Fishing. On a whole new level, we might actually genuinely max out the skills on the first year without much, without like specifically trying to do so. Because I've been ignoring all the people. <laughs> That's alright, there's always plenty of time for them. What, what are they going to do, get married? That'd be crazy if they did, if there was like a time limit on it. Ooh, uh, well, hang on, there's no point carrying on with anything today, because this is for tomorrow. See you all, see you all then. Oh, it's animated, there's a little animated picture, it's really strange. 